Hey guys, um, here's another uh, harebrained one for you. Okay, so if you guys are into slow jigging, you'll see that this hook is kind of oversized for this slow jig. Um, I started doing this because, you know, if you put the uh, smaller hooks, they're, they hook well and everything, sometimes you just miss strikes and when you're fishing in a place where you're fishing for one strike for pretty much the whole day, that can kind of bums you out. Um, there were trips where we had strikes, or I had strikes, and uh, just couldn't convert. And I don't know if you know, but when um, slow jigs were invented there, they were intended to flutter, and that's pretty much where you get most of your strikes. The problem is, you know, sometimes when you drop them down, the, uh, the hooks are like that, okay? And if you're fishing with, with two sets of hooks and the fish comes in, bites the tail or bites the head like that, that's fine. But, you know, smaller fish, if you don't have a uh, assist hook at the back, when they bite, they clamp down, you kind of miss the fish. And uh, kind of annoying because sometimes when, seriously, you just want to catch something that swims. Um you want to catch the fish no matter how, what size it is it gives you a boost of confidence or whatnot so you know I started playing around smaller hooks even um, you know trebles at the back because where I fish it's normally sand so I put trebles on the back <clears throat> catch went up because of the short strikers of course and everything but you know, I wanted a little bit uh, extra, and we're always looking for a better mousetrap. Whatnot. I'm not saying that this is the most correct way of doing things. However, I can say that in our area, this actually produces a lot because sometimes when the fish are boiling on top and you're dropping down here, it's kind of almost run and gun for those boils. You have a jig that you could cast and reel, and then you koika like this swims really well problem is you know you have this swinging around and all of that so I needed something to uh, basically make it a better mousetrap whether I'm be jigging or possibly casting it out and whatnot and the solution I came up with is an o-ring okay so If I use this, I cut my line or leader or take the jig off the swivel and insert the o-ring, okay? It does a very interesting thing. It pegs the hooks on the sides, but it still gives it a bit of freedom, you know, so that when you um, jig it or when the fish strikes, the o-ring busts it's not too tight and it's also not too loose you know it just keeps things in place now as you can see this here you can see right there it's crossed what I do is make sure that they're not crossed so position the hooks so that they're pointing out like so and what happens is if you look at the back or the side it also points it out and if you use the right size treble it won't snag all right so for me you know um, this saved me in a few occasions actually a friend when I showed this to a friend of mine we were using rubber bands for this and yeah it works well you know see just as long as it doesn't have pressure there. Also, take note that if you're using something similar to this uh, VMC 7269AH, there's a knot up here and it has to point up. Otherwise, it's not gonna position itself correctly. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, there are some times when the fish just goes and swipe it 
from the side and the hooks are there uh, especially on smaller jigs like this even if this is uh, like an 80 gram model you know it's short it's heavy and most likely they're not gonna swipe the head they're most likely gonna swipe the body so um, the hooks are there as soon as they bite on once they shake the o-ring is weak enough that it pops out so yeah it works great and uh, try it out see for yourself it works for you like I said for here we're fishing around sand um, there's some structure on everything so kind of works for us with the treble and everything but you could also use this without the treble in just this especially if you have uh, fish like barracuda or uh, mackerel that swipe on the body more than hitting the uh, the lure in the head this is actually really good now one thing that I also found is that this is really good for uh, guys that are starting out so you know sometimes we have someone on the boat like if uh, a friend tags along this just makes it easy for them because they could do whatever they want with it you just jig it up and down or whatnot and the hooks are there you know that the hooks are in good position all of the time whether it be going up okay the hooks are there going down especially the going down part you know that's where that's where they mostly get the strike so pegging the hooks there it's not the super correct way of doing things I have to say okay it's not it's not in the uh, slow jigging cannon let's say but having the hook pegged there assures you that if the fish has a mouth that's wide enough to bite th the whole cross section of the jig even without the treble you're gonna have at least one hook in the mouth and I've caught grouper I've caught barracuda um, mackerel queen fish even on, on these so you know uh, I haven't tested it out in the deep yet for tuna or, or amberjack or whatnot but here in uh, Dubai I use a scaled down version of this to catch pretty much uh, most of the bottom and uh, midwater species that we have here so yeah um, I really hope this helps someone out there um, Try it out for a few laughs or whatnot. If it works out for you, then uh, drop a comment and uh, say what's up. You know, for me, uh, it works. And I'm going to continue to use it. Tight lines. And see you in the next one.